what's up guys it's chris back with another episode of fishing this therapy it's time to get that therapy boy but in a slightly different way guys i've been really trying to figure out something guys since i upgraded to this 30 horsepower from my 20 horsepower to hot suit right the issue i've been having is the tachometer those basic ta tachometers the run leader those type of ones you can take a brief look real quick at it this tachometer right here guys this thing does not work on a 30 horsepower because it's a three cylinder. So since it's a three cylinder, it won't read it properly. And I was seeing wild RPM ranges. OK, so I looked into did some research on the best tachometer and I ended up finding the Golden Channels. OK, they're a very reputable brand and they, they create a NEMA 2000 setup. What that setup is going to do allow me to be able to hook up straight from the motor directly to my Garmin fish finder and be able to see my RPMs, everything that I need. And that's a Garmin 73SV Echo Mat. All right. So without further ado, guys, we're going to jump in. I'm going to show you exactly how to find the uh, hookup for your motor for the NEMA 2000 setup, how I ran it, the backbone system. We're going to go through all of that. Let's jump right in. All right, so it's something that's very important. It took me a little while to figure out, guys, but we gotta really take a breakdown and understand the NEMA 2000 setup. NEMA stands for the National Marine Electronic Association, okay? It's what I, I'm pretty sure that's what that means, right? But it's basically the association that allows all, all, all marine devices to be able to share information. And it's built into Garmin, it's built into Lorentz, all those systems, basically just a cable that allows you to run directly feed, okay? So anyway, guys, we're going to talk about this backbone right here. This is called a backbone system, all right? There's two other wires right here that go into that backbone system to make it complete, okay? There's two right there on my setup. This is a switch panel, and I'm doing something a little bit unique um, because a lot of people hook up their, their power source for this NEMA setup directly to the battery. Well, I found out that it has a little bit of an amp draw, and over time it will run your battery down if you're storing it for long periods of time or things like that. I don't want that issue. I want to be able to control it myself, so I hooked it up to my actual switch panel. And all you have to do is just run your negative, extend that negative from the three feet NEMA line that they give you, that power line, extend it to your battery wherever it is on your boat. All I did was extend my negative and hook my positive. It was already short right up to my switch panel and that was easy for power okay and then now this is the backbone it features two ends right here these are your terminators basically creating a closed system all right if you can understand that closed system and these are T's all right they're called backbone there's a T right here it's a T right here it's T right here notice the power T comes connected already I'll show you that real quick let me undo it See, this is the power T, all right? And it comes already connected straight to the T. The other ones, they're, you, they, you, they're, they're separate, but they all come in a package, okay? And you'll get everything in this type of package right here. Everything will come packaged, all separate golden channels, all right? Everything will be labeled. It came in, and I really like them, guys. I recommend them because the shipping, I ordered it on a Thursday. I called him. It was here Monday. And today is now Tuesday. So really fast because they have a warehouse in Tennessee that shipped directly to me and I'm in Georgia. But anyway, let's get back to this backbone system. So all you need is one system here that actually, that's your power, okay? That provides power to this system, all right? And then now you can either have a T here or a T here, okay? And you have a terminator on the very end. I really wanted to show that because I didn't see a lot of people really talk about it and make it simple. So I've already took the liberty to run my wires, guys. They're just behind the panel right here. But there's a wire going directly to the fish finder back here. This is the NEMA 2000 on the Garma right here. This is the NEMA 2000 port right there. You can see that. That says NEMA 2000. That's the one that you need. Three-foot cable. I ran it through right here at the top. Dropped it down. I'm going to silicone all that closed, but I'm going to drop that down. And then there's one running directly from the motor back here. All right, and this is the portion we're going to talk about in just a second. It's a wire running directly from the motor all the way ran underneath. All right, so I'm going to run the motor wire right here. This is going to be your motor wire, and this one is going to be my NEMA to my Garmin fish finder. So you got to have three connections. 
fish finder or whatever device you're sending that information to, power source, and from your motor or other device, all right? So I got three, I'm gonna hook those back up, and it's just a simple screw on setting, you just tighten it, tighten it on like that, and you have to have these terminators at the very end or it will not work, okay? That means it's keeping it as a closed system. If you don't have it, then it can run, right? And it's not gonna uh, actually show you very well. So I'll set that up and plug it up once we get back from the motor. All right, so this is a very important piece right here for you guys, anybody who couldn't find it, because I had a hard time finding it, but Eric with Golden Channels really helped me out. He told me exactly where it's at, guys, and it's super easy. I thought I had to do a flathead screwdriver and remove all this stuff. I didn't have to, but to actually run my wire, I did actually need to use a tool, but it was very simple. Let's take a look. So where you're gonna find the wire, if you actually notice, I ran it through these little grommets, these little keepers right here. What I did is I actually removed the side portion so that you can easily access the wiring, the wire loom to run it. And that fits right here on the side, right over the top, okay? It bolts back in right on the side, okay? And you just remove that and it's a 10 millimeter socket. That's all I needed and it's two bolts right down in there that's holding this down right there and right there. And once you remove them, you can have easy access to all this stuff. And I think that's a good recommendation, especially if you have bigger hands. All right, now, where is this, this, uh, this ECU? You know what I mean? Where is, where is this piece that we need to connect for the NEMA cable from your outboard? It's right here, under this black piece right here. That's a grommet that pushes down. I have it already loose and lifted right because i wanted to make this an easy demonstration for you guys but basically if you push this black cap back down it'll just be held on by some little grommets right there you just gotta pop them up and when you turn them and you kind of wiggle this out this system out this little plastic cover you're gonna find the nema setup okay and let me show you how it looks i can pop it off real quick while i'm on video but all you have to do is disconnect this piece here, see? And there's a black piece, I forget where I put it at. But it's another, it's basically it'll be a yellow piece that looks like a six pack, a yellow six pack. That's just a little keeper. You, you pop that off and then this is the only thing that's gonna be exposed. And then uh, this will be hanging underneath here. You see how this is hanging underneath? It'll be under, pop it out, take off the little black, the little black and yellow cover You'll see that exposed. You take your wire from Golden Channels. You see how that is? It's already set up, easy to find. Just connect it, put the connection toward the other connection like that. And there you go. Then you put it right back underneath, tuck it back, hide it the way you want to hide it, and then you're able to push this back down. You know, I'll snap it in in just a second. And that's all I had to do, snap it. And then I was like, man, how am I going to want run this cable? Well. All you have to do is remove that side piece with the 10 millimeter socket, run your cable wire through there, and then just, you know, put your cable ties. I ran it around the side of my boat all the way to the fish finder. And before I actually set this up, um, before I set it up fully, I did a mock before I ran the wires and hid them, right? I, I uh, hooked it up. And when you're using an outboard tiller, now if you guys don't have a tiller set up, you'll be able to just turn on your accessory on your motor, you know, not fully turn it on, and then it'll prompt your garment. What, what I was recommended by Eric is, when you turn on, plug this motor up right there, have everything plugged up, have it ran to your power already, switch panel or straight to the battery, and when you have that, when you turn on that garment, then turn it on when everything is not, when your motor's already on. In my situation, I have a tiller, so I can't turn it on. So I had to pull it out and put it on earmuffs put the water running through it and then turn it on. As soon as I turned it on, I turned on the Garmin fish finder, it immediately found it and I was super excited. I was like, man, so it immediately found my RPMs. That's pretty good. But once you get on the boat, out on the water, you'll be able to dial it in better. But it's just simple, guys, it's a simple gauge. I'll take a look at that once I turn on the Garmin fish finder and I'll show you how the gauge looks, how to find that setting. And then once you turn it on, it'll actually populate your RPMs. You can update how much gas you have and just go through a plethora of features. NEMA set up right there. NEMA's all set up. Um, it's under numbers right now. Um, you can go to your engine and I can see everything about it. I still gotta set up my fuel. It has my voltage though, RPMs, fuel flow, 
flow rate. Um, but I like the numbers. You just go back here. So remember, this on your main menu. Go into gauges. Go numbers. And you can choose what you want to show. I'm going to show my GPS speed, my RPMs, my positioning, max speed, my bearings, and my fuel economy. Okay? Give a little... I'm just idling around right now just to show you guys. Look. See those RPMs? Nice. NEMA setup has been successful. So you can put this on any one. 73 SV takes it. 93 SV, 106 SV, I think all the fish finders that I can pretty much think about, um, which is exception of the real, you know, $100 or so budget ones, has the NEMA connection. This is really easy, and it's a lot more simple than actually having to figure out how many wraps you want to put around the um, tachometer, around the spark plugs and all that, and then the tachometer will die, it'll go out. This one you don't have any issue because it directly connects to your battery and your switch panel. So guys, I couldn't find a video like this on the internet about the, the 30 horsepower MFS 30D Tahatsu, but here's one for you guys for the Tahatsu, and it should be the same process with the 20 horsepower Tahatsu or any of those as well. They have everything right up front under that black cover. So thank you guys for staying tuned. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think. If there's anything you need explained a little bit further, anything that's confusing, let me know, and I'll I'll plan for a video under that, and I'll make sure I get that out to you guys as soon as possible. I appreciate you guys for all your support. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. I appreciate all the love. The Fish and This Therapy family is growing. Drop down in the comments and talk to me. I'll talk back. See you guys on another episode. Fish and This Therapy. Let's get that therapy, boy.